Surprise me. Add your face tracked clips, like this. Add motion tile and then pre compose the clips. Duplicate the clips except the last one place the duplicate above the next clip. I marked each clip with a separate color so it's easier to organize. I trimmed the first composition in blue, as we only need to rotoscope above the next clip. For the next clip, I change the rotation and scale for the transition. Play with values and see what works for you. Place the clip at any corner. I usually go for the top ones. Then add motion tile and cover the screen. Enable mirror edges. Don't exceed a thousand as it may cause rendering problems. Repeat the same step but at the opposite side. Add variation to your rotation and scale. they should basically look like this. Go into the clip's composition settings and change the frame rate to 60. For rotoscope to give ideal results, the clip's comp must match the main comp's FPS. Adjust the timestamp so that the entire clip is present in the main composition. You can trim the unnecessary bit. The process is a bit tedious. Duplicate the second clip and trim it so that it is synced with the one below it. Select the rotoscope tool and begin to outline the character. The green pen selects, the red pen deselects. Try to make the outline as accurate as possible, you don't have to include individual strands of hair. Repeat the same steps to the second clip, the one at the top. Add two separate null layers at the top and trim it to the end of the third clip. Parent all the clips to the first null except the last one. We'll link it later. Add keyframes for the scale, position, and rotation. A little after the first frame, right-click on the position option and separate dimensions into X and Y. Add the new keyframes for the scale, position, and rotation. Adjust the values.
I forgot to add motion tile to the first bass clip, the one that isn't rotoscoped. Easy ease the keyframes. Open the graph editor and make an S. Don't make it steep. Drag the yellow line towards the center, or a few frames before, so that it's smooth. Repeat the same process for the other graphs. Add opacity, keyframes from 0 to 100, in the frames before the beat mark. Place the timeline at the beginning of the third clip and parent it to the first null. Parent the first null to the second null, the one at the top. Add the keyframes and repeat the exact same process. Expand the keyframes to add fluidity, move them around and see what works best. Add splurma curves for the first and last clips. This is to connect this segment to the rest of the edit. Make the zoom out as aggressive as you like, but if the time between the rotoscoped clip and the first frame on the base clip is short, a very low Z distance won't look good. Easy ease the keyframes and use the same graph as in the flow extension. Do the same for the last clip but zoom in instead. Pre-compose everything together. Add panning and RSMB, set it to 1 or 1.25 and BG sensitivity between 70 or 90. 